Uh, please, if possible, keep your questions very, very centered towards the subject of the event today. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. My question is to Mr. Sugesh. Uh, this uh, equipment, what do you say, the Wolf Air Mask, is it, uh, how much area can it cover? Dimensions? Of yeah. The so one machine, uh, if you look at this uh, Audi, you will see that uh, it is installed in multiple places. You know, so the thing is that uh, our machine covers a 360 area of 1,000 square feet. Okay, uh, that is uh, basically for the big movie halls and stuff like that. We have good machines which covers 500 square feet also. That is for the offices and uh, that kind of areas. Approximately, uh, we are consuming on an average if PVR, because we have some small screens, some large screens, about 4.5 machines per auditorium is being uh, installed uh, when we did the averages on the total count of machines that was ordered. Right. And uh, like residential, so you are planning to sell these machines? Yeah, it will come in the future. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So it is actually already launched for uh, residential homes and uh, at UFO on our website, shop.ufomovies.com. Uh, movies is ending with a Z. Uh, dot com you can shop actually and you can pay on credit card uh, there is EMI facility available so for public at large we have created all that kind of uh, things so that you know it can be largely accessed and more and more people can uh, benefit and it's a very very inexpensive product uh, for the safety you know that we we have Thanks. so as we speak we have three variety of products this is thousand square feet then we got uh, 500 then we are also coming with 250 where you can carry it and, and keep it in between the meetings, so you'll feel more safer. Right, very good. Thank you so much. Could I please uh, request the representative of the media to introduce yourselves and, and the company you're representing? Right, uh, hi John, Justin here from PTI. Towards, yeah, left, hi. Um, John, when the pandemic was at its peak and uh, there were a lot of fears that people will, even if, I mean, will they ever step into a cinema hall? As an actor, producer, were you also sort of scared that when the cinemas do reopen, will there be footfalls? And because of the health crisis, where, where people were scared. Well, I wasn't scared. I was practical, and I knew it would take time. And uh, it's, 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 it's still in the process. If you ask me if you're 100% there, the answer is no. Uh, very honestly, and I think Gautam can validate that because he's actually at the place where footfalls happen. So if I'm being overtly optimistic and saying people will come in, uh, I think people are still uh, in the process of kind of putting their heads together and coming in. Yeah, there was a practical uh, recalibration in your head as to how you want to produce a certain film when you need to get on the floors. Even if you want to get on the floors, you can't because there's a pandemic out there. So uh, yeah, there was just recalibration. There was no fear and you had to deal with the, the present situation you are in. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Uh, hello. So yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Siddhesh here from Newsbank. My question is to John, sir. Uh, like, sir, the only barrier which is stopping people uh, from coming to the cinema halls is uh, the, the concern of social distancing or uh, all the COVID concerns. So nowadays, people uh, are like prefer watching movies on OTT platforms. Now, since you have come with this uh, amazing device, amazing technology, so. How is it going to affect the OTT platform? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I answer this question, I'll yeah. be the CEO of Netflix, Amazon, <laughs> Geo, everything. So I think uh, there are different variables. I think uh, there, are, uh, there are films meant for the big screen, and that's what I believe. And there are films that are specifically designed for uh, OTT platforms. I'm not talking about the pandemic mein hua, mm -hmm. ki big films were releasing on OTT, but I'm saying there are certain films designed for the big screen. So I think, I believe, this is what I believe, this is my view, that neither is going to be affected. Um, but who's going to benefit from this is a content creator because he's got more options to play with. So it's it's great for uh, a producer at this point of, of time. It's great for actors who've got so many different avenues. It's great for all technical people involved. So I think uh, we anyway are the largest creator of content and films in the world, and we're only going to create more. And uh, just to add to what John said, remember a cinema experience is not just about watching a film. 
Gone are the days when you only step into a cinema to watch a film. Today, it's all about experience. It's about memories. Uh, you know, and that, that was one of our films that we started off. We, we launched that film just after when we had opened. And the whole idea, how it sort of uh, uh, resonated with the consumer was because sitting at home, you can't ever get an experience. You can never create a memory, uh, be it a uh, Valentine's Day or a Happy Father's Day or a Mother's Day or a birthday or an anniversary or anything. The, the sheer uh, joy of booking yourself a ticket, coming, sitting here, watching it on the big screen is another experience. That is consumption of content and that'll, like John rightly said, that'll also survive. It's not as if, it's not an either or, but both will flourish. We saw this uh, over Diwali weekend, that the, the, the numbers that came in was phenomenal. In fact, uh, cinemas have already gone far beyond the pre-COVID numbers and yet, uh, you know, the, the in Punjab, for instance, is 160% wow. of pre-COVID, of 1920. Uh, South is already at 92%. Uh, so the fact is people are coming. That's not the point. The point is there's still a section of people mm -hmm. which may be coming in with a certain doubt in mind. And we said we need to do everything possible to allay that doubt. And, and with this technology now, you can actually, and John said it rightly, you're perhaps breathing a better, much higher uh, quality air than you would be breathing at your own place. So from that point of view, uh, uh, this is a, a result of what the consumers were relaying back like yours. A and we said, here's the solution. We are now not giving any uh, option or a choice for consumer to even think twice. That's all. Thanks. Uh, I think I'll just in one line uh, take one simple analogy, and I think that should answer all the questions. Uh, you know, you cook at home. There is home delivery available. It's still, restaurants are all full. So, and everybody, everything has its own place. You will neither stop cooking at home, nor you will st uh, stop ordering home delivery. But the home delivery and home cooking is available. It doesn't mean that the restaurants will shut down. It is as simple as that. I think that is the OTT, TV, OTT. OTT is home delivery. <coughs> so it is as simple as that. Yeah. Hi, sir. Well put, sir. One last question, please, ma'am. So, yeah. I'm, I'm Raghav from Theatre World Magazine. My question is for Mr. Sudesh. Is it a Made in India product? Yes, absolutely. You know, like uh, this is a Made in India product, and we have got all the support from the central government and state governments also. You know, like, uh, in fact, uh, we are really thankful to the central government to give us the opportunity to test in various, uh, what you call, uh, highly advanced laboratories like uh, um, Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology and all this stuff. You know, and uh, uh, we are uh, under the, uh, this thing, purview of uh, Startup Mission of India, okay, and uh, uh, then start, uh, Kerala Startup Mission as well. So it's a 100% made in India product, which the product is carrying a, uh, what do you call, make in India uh, this thing also and uh, label also and right now we are actually expanding to almost like uh, 41 different countries okay one more question is ported from india yeah. to different parts of the world okay okay so one more question is um, uh, during experiment on r and d of this product uh, did you do any experiment inside a cinema theater because cinema theater is a different venue yes we did absolutely absolutely uh, Encounters. I encounters. Yeah. Every region has one, and we have ordered now to check the air quality in all of It yeah, it is live testing also. You know, like uh, it is not that we have installed and we are forgetting about it. It's <laughs> that's it's a, a three month grilling experiment. <laughs> uh, and it also, like Sujay said, just to add up, it also changed the machine. Yeah. We have customized it and again tested for two months. And same then same uh, here it is. So the same product can go to home offices also? Yes, yeah, so we got three different varieties which can go. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for bringing us this, this very, very innovative technology. And thank you, John, for endorsing it. Uh, John, we have a small surprise for you. UFO movies, PVR cinemas, and All About Innovations would like to gift you the UFO Wolf Air Mask. I just have a question. Is it the 1,000 square feet one or the 500? <laughs> <laughs> Bigger. Okay. No, 
Now we're going to get 250 launched with John for sure. <laughs> you can carry it on your script discussions also. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. The members of the press can come forward for a photo op with the entire team and with John. So much thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience this is me Divya Unni, your host signing off have a great great day gentlemen and uh, there's coffee and refresh refreshments for all of you all outside remember PVR is always a safe space for you to be in